We have to get everyone back on board. Copy. <laughs> Son of a... Mm. Okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, listen. Nobody blames you. It is what it is. We're here. We have our whole lives ahead. Make the most of it. That easy, huh? No. But beating yourself up every day just makes it worse. How long have you been feeling like this? A few days now. Few meaning? A week, maybe two. Maybe a month. Your blood pressure's high. 176 over 110. I used to take blood pressure pills, hypertension. I ran out shortly after we got to Destiny. Why didn't you tell me? There's nothing you could do about it. It's not like you could write me another prescription. No, I have medicinals that could help. Tea leaves have, have been effective in improving circulation. TJ, I was feeling fine. I didn't think it was a problem. Hypertension is often symptomless, but dangerous. Didn't your doctor tell you this? Okay. Look, one of these ancient machines is used for diagnostics, including blood work, so I'm gonna run a few tests. I just think a good night's sleep is all I'm gonna need. Probably. Let's just be sure, okay? TJ, what have you done with her? We haven't done anything. I'm not leaving without her. It's not up to us. They can send you back whenever they want. And there's nothing we can do about it. I'm so sorry. At least this way you'll know. You'll always know that uh, she's being taken care of. I'm on my way. Is it them? I just ran into Eli. Well, Eli's got a big mouth. You don't need to be here. Try and stop me. Listen to me, TJ. I know what you must be thinking. You should have told what me. What you experienced was a simulation. We know that. No, you know that. Look, I'm just saying, if they can send our people back to us, don't you think it's possible they could save our daughter? Nobody mentioned a child. I don't want you to set yourself up. I need to know. We don't have time. I need to finish this. Hang on. I think I got the ligature device back online. The database is still down. Tamara, who are you? What? I'm Amanda Perry. Dr. Perry, how do I... No time to explain. You need to finish the surgery. TJ, what's wrong? You're not real. Listen to me. I'll help you. I have access to the entire medical database. Trust me, Tamara, I can help. Okay, tell me what to do. Who are you talking to? No one, I'll tell you later. TJ. I'm fine, just let me do this, go. All right, the first connection you need to make is to the renal vein. Attach it to the external iliac vein. If you're not careful, that cut's gonna open back up again. I can't help it. I like to play rough. How about you? <laughs> Yeah, I do. Mm. Do you think you could handle me? <clears throat> no. I didn't think 
so. Congratulations, I hear you're a free man. Apparently someone put in a good word for me with Colonel Young. Not as much as I'd like to take credit, I really haven't had any time. I know, it was um, Sergeant Greer. Greer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd love to thank him, but um, I get the feeling he'll claim he doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, probably. Listen, I just wanted to come by and say I'm sorry about your people. And even though you may feel like you're alone, you're not. I know. You had said you wanted to lend your expertise to tonight's dinner. Becker's ready. You, uh, you okay? Things too big. You're strong. I can't stand the thought of being eaten alive. The time comes if I don't have the guts to do it myself. What are you saying, Corporal? I'm saying I don't want to die like that. I'd rather you finish me off first. Hey, hey, listen to me. Now you have two choices. You can suck it up and walk back on the destiny with your head held high. Or you can force me to save your sorry ass and live with the shame. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Colonel? Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Picking up a batch Brody made for me. Extra strong, I use it for disinfectant. <laughs> you don't look so good. <laughs> yeah, I know, I guess it's that, uh, it's that obvious, huh? Everett, what if I told you that the baby, our baby, is still alive? I mean, I don't know, why would, why would you do that? Because I saw her. Because I held her in my arms and she's beautiful. Oh, PJ. No, it's like PJ. nothing you can imagine. We were on the planet where we left Cain and the others, and the aliens there, they said that they would take care of her. Cain promised me. And they sent me back here. Oh, you never left the ship. I know. Look, I know, I know what it sounds like. And that's why I didn't say anything before, because I knew that you would think I was crazy. But I'm not. I'm not crazy. And it wasn't a dream. Why is it so hard to believe after everything that we've seen since we've been here? Hey, listen to me! Just because you want something to be true, it doesn't mean it is, DJ. Okay? Okay. You listen to me. I can see where you're going. And no, because I almost went there. I'm afraid that you won't come back. 